Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutchie coming right at you from Costa Rica. With today another COVID related update, since yesterday afternoon the president of the country had a press conference announcing upcoming changes in restrictions and requirements in Costa Rica. And yes, they will mandate the COVID-19 vaccine for many activities here in Costa Rica. So let's get straight into it and I'll announce to you what the press conference was about yesterday. First of all, the driving restrictions will remain. In case you're not aware, here in Costa Rica there's restrictions as to when you cannot drive your car depending on your license plate number. For example, I can't drive my car on Wednesdays and then everybody in the weekend can't drive their car on either Saturday or Sunday and this switches every weekend. And then currently we actually have a curfew. Everybody meet, needs to be home at 9 p.m. and nobody's allowed to drive between 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. And they're planning on changing this starting September 16th where the curfew will become 10 p.m. And then starting November 15th, the weekend restriction will end. And people will remain to be required to wear a mask in public spaces indoors and sometimes outdoors. So be prepared. For example, buying a ticket at a national park, when you buy the ticket, you actually need to wear a mask. But then, of course, when you go into the national park, you can take it off. They plan on reopening all national parks at 100% capacity. Then starting December 1st, a COVID vaccine will be required to partake in certain activities or to enter many different businesses. Now, I, I'm literally going to read the list that they provided, okay? So, it says, establishments requiring vaccination will include restaurants, bars, casinos, commercial centers, museums, gyms, hotels, adventure tourism not really sure what that means so you could for example not do a canopy tour if you're not vaccinated but you could do something low-key i'm i'm not really sure i'm sure they're gonna all explain it theaters sites of worship sporting events they are planning on using the same qr code system that part of europe has been using so for european travelers it, it will be easy so they could just bring their QR code that they obtain from their home country and come to Costa Rica. However, for the rest of the world, there was no communication on how travelers should obtain such a QR code, especially for like the US and Canada. Um, we're not sure yet. I hope to keep you up to date soon with that information because clearly it is very important. For the non-vaccinated people, travelers, it gets a little bit more confusing because they did not give any communication on an update of the current entry requirements. So technically right now, or starting December 1st, non-vaccinated travelers can enter the country. Like instead of a vaccination card, they simply need to purchase mandatory travel insurance. But what's the point of traveling to Costa Rica when you're here and you need to show proof of vaccination through this QR code when doing an activity, entering a restaurant or even entering a hotel. So that's all not very clear at the moment, even though every article that I have read in any type of language, they all show the requirements to come in. So basically it says starting December 1st, these are the changes. And then below that, these are the entry requirements and they were not adjusted. So right now the situation is for non-vaccinated travelers, you can enter Costa Rica. You do not need to show a negative COVID test. You need to fill out an online health pass that is available for you to fill out within 72 hours to your flights, not earlier. So they ask you a couple of basic questions. And because you're not vaccinated, they mandate you to purchase travel insurance with a special requirement that covers COVID related things. I actually found a company with really good rates. So if you're traveling soon before December 1st, make sure you go to the description box below this video to find the link to the company with the good rates and has the coverage required. Just fill out the link for a free quote. After December 1st, just 
keep watching this channel for an update. I'm pretty sure pretty soon they need to figure out these things because obviously it's very important. So once you've uploaded the policy of your travel insurance, you receive a QR code a green approval that you can enter the country. You need to show this at check-in for your flight and again at immigration. Other than that, you need to be able to show prove that you are leaving the country, which for most people is simply your round trip ticket. Then for the vaccinated travelers, they need to fill out the exact same uh, health pass with the basic questions. But instead of the travel insurance policy here, they need to upload their, upload their proof of vaccination. So if you're from the US, this would be your vaccination card. And again, this will generate an approval QR code as well. So my guess is that somehow they're gonna implement this new QR code to, to you know show that you're fully vaccinated into the health pass. Again, I'm not sure, we shall see. I do wanna point out though, um, just because the Costa Rica government doesn't mandate you to purchase travel insurance like the non-vaccinated travelers, I highly, highly suggest to do so. Reason why, I actually co-own a travel company and for many years I've seen what little accidents can happen or the damage you can have to your beautiful camera. Travel insurance, it is not that expensive. It is so worth having travel insurance. If you are in the jungle and you break a leg and you need to be transported out or you drop your camera in the ocean, <laughs> no. Um, I've seen it all and the people that were, that were insured were extremely grateful and the people that weren't learned their lesson. So just check it out. It is not expensive. Check out the link in the description box below to get a free quote. And especially during these times, you never know what happens. It's just good to have insurance. Then be sure to check your home country's entry requirements when you return back home. Some countries require a PCR test. The United States also requires you to come back showing a negative test, which can be the antigen test, which is the rapid test, which you can get at San Jose Airport. But keep in mind, you need to take this test four hours prior to your flight. You can make an appointment and pay for it online. I will leave the link below in the description box, so make sure to check that out. Be sure to check out the description box anyways for the actual really detailed entry requirements so you come prepared on your trip to Costa Rica. I apologize, this update wasn't as as clear as I would have hopes as to what's happening starting December 1st. I guess all we know is they will, will mandate the COVID-19 vaccine and the exact details of the how and the what. The moment I know it, you'll know it. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and then you wanna click the bell icon because then you receive a notification when I upload that new updated video. All right, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao from Costa Rica.